Hey guys, Paul Malov here again. Just wanted to make a quick little video today to talk to you guys about a new product that I'm really excited about from Lowrance and a product that's really gonna help my kayak fishing. As some of you know, I've been running the Elite 7Ti on my Hobie Pro Angler for the last 12 months, and I've been really happy with it. But Lowrance has recently come out with a new product called the Hook 2 line of fish finders and sonar and GPS units. Um, what I wanna do is show you guys the new unit that I've got for my kayak and take you through some of the features and some of the benefits of this new Hook 2 series and why it's the perfect unit for kayak fishing, um, inland, inshore fishing. It's an absolute ripper. So here is the new Hook 2 that's going on my kayak. It's the nine inch unit and we'll do a quick unboxing for you guys. So inside the box we have the screen. So first impressions are, there we are, there's the hook two. This is a little bit different from the recent range of Lorance units where this unit is not touch screen so everything is done via this panel of buttons here on the side. First impressions very solid but not too heavy, so it's gonna be perfect for kayak fishing. It's easy to take off, carry around when you're not fishing, so it's not always mounted in your boat or kayak, just for safety reasons. So there's the unit, and we've got two simple connections right here. So one for power, and one for your transducer. What else do we have in the box? All right. We have our bracket. So this is a mounting bracket that's going to attach to the unit. And we attach this bracket to the unit via these two gimbal mounts. Lift that open and show you guys how that looks. So there are the two gimbal mounts which will sit in there. And then the unit sits right in the middle. And from there, what I've also purchased separately is a ram mount which is going to sit on my kayak and it's going to be mounted or connected to the base of this plate. So again, let me show you guys real quick. There's the ram mount and all we do is connect, connect the two like so, drill some holes and we're good to go. Everything lines up perfectly. And then this part is going to attach to our kayak. And we're good to go. Alright, put those aside for now. We'll see what else we have in the box. So we have our triple shot transducer. So this transducer allows me to get traditional sonar with that really wide chirp sonar. Also allows me to see down imaging as well as side imaging out to about 300 feet either side of the boat or kayak. So that's gonna be a great feature and allow me to scan water thoroughly and quickly. And we've got the mounting plate and instruction manual. I don't think we're gonna need that. These things are so simple that uh, anyone can do it. It's just take it out, plug it in, and away you go. The unit auto-tunes itself to suit the water conditions, so there's absolutely nothing that we as anglers need to worry about in terms of settings, whether it's contrast, sensitivity, the unit does it all for us. That's the beauty of these, and I'm really excited about giving it a go. And the final thing that I've got here beside me is a little sun cover that I purchased separately. So both the ram bracket and the sun cover don't come with the unit. These I've purchased separately from a company called CH Smith Marine here in Melbourne, Victoria, uh, in Australia. So for those of you that are from Australia, reach out to CH Smith. They've got a great range of products at awesome prices. I'm in no way affiliated with CH Smith, but I do use them for a lot of my shopping for everything else that I need. So I've just purchased that sun cover to protect that screen. Uh, just allows me to travel, put it in the car, put it in my uh, storage compartment in my Hobie, 
when I'm not using the unit. It just keeps the screen nice and protected. It's a great little investment for about 25 bucks. All right. I'm gonna go back to this little triple shot transducer and talk about the way that we're gonna mount this in my Hobie. The way that we're gonna do that is using the Burley Pro transducer mounting bracket and transducer shield, which is gonna protect this transducer from any rock, sand, um, anything that may damage or uh, destroy this transducer potentially. So next time you guys see me, we're gonna be over at Marty's place. So Marty from Burley Pro has kindly offered to help me out today to get this thing up and running and all set up. So next stop is over to Marty's place. We'll see you there. Hey guys, I'm back here at Marty's now. We're over at Burley Pro HQ. We're just about to strip my kayak, get rid of that total scan transducer and the old mount, and put the new triple shot tr uh, transducer in for the new Hook 2 9. All right, stay tuned. Cheers. All right. Marty's just reaching down. Get the old cables out, unscrew. Sight dog Dave helping out. Year and a half's use, it's still brand new. That could bought one. Pretty happy with it, eh? Like yeah. Alright guys, new uh, transducer shields fitted, got the triple scan transducer under there. This is my old total scan transducer shield that we used for the last 18 months. As you can see it's a little bit worn down, but absolutely in awesome nick for considering the amount of times that I've beach launched, launched it off the side of the river bank, um, it's really held up and held the test of time, so these are an absolutely awesome addition to the kayak. Hey guys, all done here today with Marty. He's an absolute champion. We ended up installing the new Hook 2.9, the triple scan transducer. Even got one of his Burley Pro covered sun shields on. So that way it allows me to see the screen in full sunlight. Can't wait to use this unit. Stay tuned and check it out. My next video, I'll be out on the water using this thing. Can't wait to see what we find. First impressions with the hook too, absolutely sensational. So on the left hand side is this big bridge and there in my side imaging I can see the pylons showing to the left and now shortly to the right as well as we come through. 
I can see there's just so much bait sitting right around that bridge. I can see it visually with my own eyes as I look into the water around the pilings, but also on the sounder. So there are those underwater pylons that cast a shadow and in amongst them are where the brim is sitting. So what a cracking sounder. As I mentioned again, this is just my first trip out with it, but I'm super impressed with its capabilities and image quality. It was super easy to set up. Only thing I changed was the palette from the blue to this brown that you see today. And other than that, it was all plug and play. It was just ready to go. There's nothing that I needed to do. Cast an image further back. That's it. That's on the money. coming so I'll try and get out of the way of him. those fish guys. At least we set the hooks into this one. That's an awesome example of seeing those fish. I'll let that sink right down. Instead of fishing this grub up high in the water column, I saw all those fish. Spring. Swing him in. Probably should have netted him, but anyway. There we go. Pinned in the top of the mouth. Just how we like it. Alright, we'll put him back in. That was a great example of I was fishing in this pontoon. You know, I imagine that the fish would be sitting up high. Had a look over at the, the new Lorenz hook too. Saw that the fish were sitting right on the bottom in 1.4, 1.5. Opened my bail arm, really slowed down. Let that grub get to the bottom. And then I was slowly just hopping it on the bottom and he just sucked it up off the bottom. So, perfect. All right guys, all done here on the water. My first day spent using the new Lorenz hook too. I'm absolutely blown away by its performance. Super quick, the image clarity has been fantastic. If you're in the market for a new sounder, check out the Lowrance Hook 2 range at a store near you. For the price point, they're impossible to beat. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you next time. Cheers.